Photographers are like garbage men. They take from you things you used to love. They smell weird, even after they take showers. They drive big cars full of stuff. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna help them. I'll help you all right now. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Fuji X-H2S Zeiss 12 Miltoni 2.8 with a Black Pro Mist filter. Engaged. I've changed things around a bit. I found a dresser. That could be interesting to you. Now all my camera gear fits in there. Huh? And my old one on this side for potential long form videos with a tripod way over there for those 85 mil vlogs in the living room. Oh, I don't mind that. And I now have easy access control to my light should I need anything beyond window light because mixing this kind of light with your window side light is good times, but not yet. Oh, that is bad. Hey all, looking for a travel vlog cam? So far I've looked at finding a used Sony X3000. You wish, you wish. It's hard to find, or should I just go with the GoPro 10? Any suggestions? I like the stereo mic on the Sony. However, I'm not sure how good the GoPro audio is with the media mod. Okay, X3000 was an all-encompassing tiny thing that had good audio, but it was stereo audio. It still worked. You ever find yourself talking to somebody and the only thing you're thinking of is your facial expression and you're just wondering like, what do I do, smile, nod? Should I do that? No, don't. Whenever you get the waveforms back, it's like your voice barely sticks out from the background noise. It was so bad, but still decent. That's why I used to hold it like right here. I used to get amazing audio and I was like, wow, that is close. It doesn't look the best, but it was good audio. So if you're going for a GoPro 10, you can't do that. You gotta mod it out. I went to my new dresser. So these, no longer little Sony X3000 type things because you got get a cage and then the audio jack thing and then a filter on the end. Now this thing is a pain in the ass to carry. It's actually kind of heavy. It's kind of stupid heavy. So are you willing to carry that around? The best way I find is lav mic in there, boom. Amazing audio on any street. No matter how loud the traffic is, you'll get that shot. But it's kind of heavy. And then what are you going to do with it after? You can't really put that in a pocket, so you're carrying it. It's annoying. Whereas this, I can put a little clip. Click. And a tripod still on it. That's why I use this more often. Just this cage, not as good. Ulanzi, you effed up. Where's all the side hinges? The hell? If you just want to use the GoPro with the media mod as the mic, go home, you're drunk. I suggest DJI Action 1 with a lav mic. If Sony is perfect in every way, why are you still looking for another camera? Answer me. Is it perfect? Sony Color Science, is that perfect in any culture? I, I don't see it. I just want to punch this thing. Perfect autofocus, yes. Mm. That was until the latest firmware or something happened. I don't know. I've never seen this thing lose or pulse or do anything wrong in like two years. It's been rock solid. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting these fluttering pulses with the Zeiss lens. I think their new firmware made all third-party lenses just go haywire. They change something inside. It's like, oops, only we know the secret. That's a dirty move, Sony. I can't prove that's what happened, but it's likely what happened to all of us. So they're pretty much perfect, but colors are shit. And annoying holding back of features. If you're a high-end, I feel even worse for the Sony A1 owners who aren't getting the A7 IV features. What the hell, man? Animal eye detect and video, focus breathing comp, weird blocky focus mode manually that won't work ever at all. I want it. And new color science, apparently. They probably fixed the color science. Like, we're left hanging. We're never gonna get that. So, like, do you want to be that? Left out in the dark? For dinner? 
Were you using a soft box in this video? I used a soft curtain over a window. What a loser. I couldn't see it. Was it camouflaged? I don't know what you're talking about. What video this was. Is that hand becoming a reptilian? Glass is so expensive. Been looking for wildlife. Sound a question. Do you think the lens stabilization of 70 to 300 good enough on X-T3? Wildlife or sports photography? I'll pretend you didn't say photography. So for video, if what you're looking at, 70 to 300, I think it is enough. Lens stabe in slow motion is good enough, likely. I tested the R5C with the 100 to 500 in a store in 4K 120p and it was good times. I got bored of my own color science during your boring question, so I switched to nostalgic neg midway. We were on Astia. I might go to F-Log 2 just to make fun of that lamp. So I think I'm kind of hoping to change into something unique like that, like a Blackmagic 6K Pro with a Canon stabilized telephoto lens to get that raw cropped 120p 2.5K. It would be stable enough. Cause I get Ibis jerks on the Fuji. I have a Sony a7 III and a Canon 90D. Which one would you want if you had only those two options, my friend? Oh boy, it, as sad as it is to even think about, I would probably want the Canon 90D. Just for the better color science, you got a flippy screen, decent autofocus. The Sony a7 III, like it's even older, worse Sony color science and no flippy screen, that was annoying. It was a flatter Santa gift and I appreciated it while I had it. HLG3 was not bad. HLG2, even better. I doubt it. It was decent. I don't think I could return to that non-flippy screen. It's annoying, but I might have to in here. I might have to do it. A little mirror hack, but Canon 90D with the Sigma 14 mil 1.8. You could get worse. No, you couldn't. Why is Fuji always at like 1,250 ISO? It's unbelievable. Unfricking. 800. I have top headed lighting. That could be good. Sony a7S III user here. Video 90% of the time with some family portraits considering wildlife. 100 to 400 Sigma or step up to the 150 to Sig... Leaning 100 to 400 for size. Any thoughts? Yeah, I have thoughts. Stop shopping in the bargain bin. This isn't Walmart or Kmart or Circle K. Get a real lens, you hobo bitch. This is stupid. Third party lenses are not good for video. They don't behave well with the IBIS. There's no sync stave. They don't allow the protocols to be given to third party. It's like, oh yeah, open mouth, go ahead, make the lenses. And then Sony, all they do is reverse engineer any good things that happen from that and then steal it and make better lenses that actually work. Try it, try video handheld with the 100 to 400 Sigma. You're gonna be like, oh God, what's happening here? Never get it. If you're taking photos, you're a moron. You're asking me, you're on the wrong show. A couple weeks ago, DP Review says, if you want the best telephoto lens, get the Sigma 150 to 600. I wanted to fly over to Calgary and run them both over with a horse. I was like, what are you guys talking about? The 200 to 600 Sony lens is your obvious choice. It's the only choice. A Sigma, what are you doing? You can't use that for video. The stabe is shit. The autofocus is worse. I should have made a whole video ranting on those Canadian bums. I will kill you in the street. Was that your question? Don't get a Sigma lens, Sony only. Hey, this might annoy you, but off the top of your head, is there a good $200 camera for someone wanting to get started on YouTube? $200? DJI Action One. You could find that. It would look like absolute trash, but if you get some sort of sunlight in your face, enough light you might be able to get by. No one's gonna be like, what are you filming on? They're gonna be like, oh, okay. If the audio is good enough, they'll watch your show. If you do something unique, or you could save up for like a Canon T3i used. 
And then next year, when you've saved enough, you get the 10 to 18 lens. And in three more years, you get a memory card, you $200 freak. You could go shovel snow or do something on someone's lawn. Here, I'll do this. Just go shovel snow in the winter. Here, pay me whatever you want. That's all you say. Oh, whatever you can afford. And then you do the work, you go back, oh, 20 bucks. Wow, look at that. Before you know it, you have enough to buy drugs or a camera. That's what I meant. We are now in F-Log 2, otherwise known as lamp retention mode. You see lamp details that you only dreamed of before. Why not a Sony A1 based on what I saw on Mark Smith's channel? You mean the guy who talks to us like we're eight years old? You're not a cartoon. Why so annoying and irritating? The best footage ever and he's like, oh, I hope he makes it. Like, you're not a cartoon, man. Just so annoying. Good show, by the way. Thank you for all your tips. Good stuff. I like it. It's better than what I do, for sure, but just, we're not eight. We're like 40 years old plus. Just bring up that audience, like made for kids? No. Just unclick that and make a serious video next time. Stop writing these scripts that are so lame that I almost die every time I watch your videos. I love you. This is not a rant or like a stabby thing. You're the best. Was that your question? Why not A1? Like, why do people ask me this? I have a Sony A7S III. What does this do that I don't have? Why would I buy? Why would I spend like $10,000 to get the same specs? I get 8K 30P? I need slow-mo. 60P or it doesn't exist. I already have the specs. It does nothing. And no flippy screen, so I lose the versatility of also being a YouTuber's camera. What's the point of this thing? We have switched over to Sony Color Science for your viewing pleasure. I'm thinking of buying APS-C Sony 70-350, but can't seem to find a video of you telling me not to. That means it's perfect, right? If you have APS-C, that would be your lens. It's a decent one, like the Fuji 70-300, good. Imagine 50 extra mils on that thing. Pretty light. It's not as big as the 100 to 400. Why not? But like, that means you're in Sony APS-C. That's disgusting. They haven't released a new camera since the A6300. And that, you can quote me on that. Everything else has been like, same sensor of the A6300. Hi Casey, what camera and lens would you buy today if you had no camera? I wouldn't take this answer too serious just because I would probably buy something different just for the heck of it. Like if all this thing stuff got burnt in a fire, like am I gonna buy the A7S III again even though it's perfect for me? No, I wouldn't. So I doubt I'd go Sony. I'd be curious about the A7 IV just to see what the new color science is like. Is it better? Doubt it. I think I would just go Canon C100 Mark II with the Sigma 18 to 35, and we take the cinema home with us. We'd be manually exposing, manual everything, and then I would be annoyed with it. You know why I want that camera? Because it has XLR inputs and the handle, it comes out here. So I could put my Octava mic on that thing with an XLR cable. We'd have amazing audio for once. I think for wildlife, I would probably still want the Sony. A7S III, 200 to 600. I don't see myself beating that. Even the Fuji, I wouldn't buy it. I think I prefer this, so boom, there's my two cameras. And I have no wide angle lens, that sucks. I get the Sigma 14mm 1.8 as well. All right, last question. Panasonic S5 or a beat up Sony A7S II? If it's me, I think I'm going Panasonic S5. You pretend you're a filmmaker, you're manually focusing, you have the underdog camera. I could get by. When they release that 18mm 1.8, you have an all-in-one vlogging and YouTube camera. It's just like what you were seeing earlier with the Fuji. Same focal length, only more toning, way more toning. This was a 4.2. Disgusting, and I always keep knocking this thing. It's probably a 5.6 already. But at least you have a flippy screen. Just don't pretend like, oh, Panasonic autofocus is okay. It's better now. And use it. Don't use it. Just tap and lock. You 
tap and lock. Can I tap? I did tap. What did it do though? Nothing showed up. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that was a real mistake. Cancel. I have a bad mode selected somewhere in that menu system. I helped you all so much. And you're welcome. The gift is the reward. You know what I mean? Did Fuji beat the Sony today? Did you prefer Astia, Nostalgic Neg, or F-Log 2? You care. Don't pretend you don't. I'm gonna leave. I might sell that Fuji. I don't know. I'm leaning towards heavily selling it. And then we buy something else and test it out. I like that whole idea of buying something at a good price that I can sell for maybe a slight loss. We'll make a bunch of videos with it. We're all learning together. I mean, I found all the quirks in here. There were terrible quirks, terrible things that nobody mentioned. So you need me to test your camera if you're gonna be shooting in a living room with mixed lighting sources and wildlife in your local ravine. I'm worthy of that. So I'm gonna leave after you buy a camera conspiracies t-shirt. You're not buying one. Get a tank top. Neither.